Hey guys, and welcome to question FM 214 of the Further Mass Fortifier Study Guide. This question reads, each week the 180 employees of a factory choose ham, peanut butter or jam for afternoon lunch from the canteen. The transition matrix below shows how the employees' how the employees choices change from day to day. And then we're given uh, this little transition matrix. So where we've got the values of ham, peanut butter and jam uh, from today and ham, peanut butter and jam tomorrow. So the percentages of people that are moving from one to another. We then asked based on the information above, it can be included that in the long term and then we're given five different options, five different sentences. So what we're gonna start with is that at the end of the question, uh, it says in the long term, now, if we're gonna calculate sort of like a long-term steady state, I like to take my transition matrices to the power of a thousand out of habit more than anything. Uh, there's no logical reason for it. I, it's just definitely, definitely big enough uh, in order to produce a steady state or a long-term uh, idea of what's going on here. The next thing we're gonna need is a state matrix, an initial state matrix. Now, the information that we're given at the start, uh, tell, at the start of the question says that there are 180 employees who are being involved here. It doesn't actually matter how you spread that 180 degrees out to begin with, because it'll give you the same answer when you get your steady state. So uh, I'm gonna put it as 60, 60, 60, divide those 180 people into thirds, but you could honestly put 180, uh, you can put the full 180 into any one of these positions and zero in, in both of the others and you'd still get the same answer. So it doesn't matter how you distribute them as long as it adds up to 180 in total. We're gonna make that, uh, we're gonna plug that, sorry, into a calculator and we should get an answer that I've rounded each of the uh, values to one decimal place along the lines of 66.8, 52.3 and 61.0. And that is our steady state. So now we're much better prepared to answer this question because we can compare those different uh, answers. Part A says, jam will be the most popular sandwich. Well, if we mark these here as either ham, peanut butter, or jam, we can see that jam is not the most popular sandwich, ham is. Option B then says, no employee will choose peanut butter sandwiches. We can see here very clearly there are definitely still people choosing peanut butter sandwiches. Part C then, oh sorry, option C then says more employees will choose ham sandwiches than jam sandwiches. 66.8 are choosing ham, 61 are choosing jam. So, so far C is looking pretty good. Option D then says more employees will choose peanut butter sandwiches than jam sandwiches. Peanut butter has 52.3 and jam has 61.0. So that's not true. And then option E says ham will be the least popular sandwich. Having a look here, ham is definitely not the least popular sandwich as it is the most popular. So C was our correct answer. And that's that question. If you guys have any questions for us, please leave them in the comments below. Otherwise I'll see you in the next video.